Then she has the number 347-980-0076, which I have never tried calling. So you know what? Just fuck it. Let's call the number right now. I'm scared, guys. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Kristen thank you so much for joining in today I'm gonna be telling a story about the fucking time brides magazine tried to fucking scam me they tried it they tried it um this actually happened let me see this happened a week ago about a week ago before you go and judge brides magazine Listen to the full story, okay? Don't be harassing Brides Magazine. Just listen to the story and you'll completely understand what's happening, okay? As I said, this happened literally eight days ago on January 23rd. So I get an email from Condé Nast, which if you don't know, is a company that owns Brides Magazine. And I'm actually going to say real names in this video because these emails aren't real and these people probably aren't using their real name and they're trying to scam artists, they're trying to scam girls and women and probably for sex trafficking. So I'll go into that more later. But yeah, so I get this message from Melissa Wilson who claims that she's the assistant editor Editor, 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 who claims she's the assistant editor for Brides Magazine and that they're looking for makeup artists for their May edition. They found me through social media. Our senior editor was quite impressed with your portfolio and mandated me to get in touch with you so as to know if you would like to work with us on this editorial shoot. Then she signs her name, has editorial assistant under it, Brides Magazine, and then One World Trade Center, New York, New York, 10007, um, which is the address of their main building usually when you get a business email it'll say at the bottom like confidential this, this email and all contents contain information from brides magazine blah, blah 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 right like they made it look so fucking legit guys when i saw the email i was stoked right of course like me a small time makeup artist self-taught never went to school for this shit gets an email like this of course I'm gonna think it's real, right? So I'm like screaming, I literally cried because I thought, oh my God, this is my big moment. I'm going to fucking New York. Oh my God, like, that's literally how I felt. I felt like, wow, out of everyone, it was so unbelievable. Me, a little nobody with a thousand subs, a thousand followers, out of everyone, like there's so many great makeup artists that, that have skill levels that are higher than me. And a bigger following than me who would probably be able to advertise your magazine more. So it's like, why out of everybody would you pick me? You know what I mean? Texted my dad and I was like, Brides Magazine wants to hire me. My dad is always skeptical of everything, of any like people trying to offer me a job or whatever. Um, so he was like, are you sure it's real? And I was like, okay, let me check real quick. So I go on Google and I'm like searching up Brides Magazine. I look up the customer service number and I call them and then it goes to one of those automated messages where you have to like press a certain number to get to like certain people or whatever so I click that and then I'm like waiting on the phone it rings a couple times and this lady picks up and she's like hey can I get your account number so I can access your account and I'm like oh I don't have an account I just have a quick question for you do you know the names of the editors for Brides Magazine because um, I just got an email from you guys and I just wanted to make sure that it was real and she was like oh what is the name and I was like Melissa Wilson and she's like um I don't see anyone of that name on the list um, but I don't know all the names of the editors what did the email say well basically I got offered a job as a makeup artist to work on set for the May edition and this is what the email is it's Condé Nast and then she was like oh yeah that's their email that's their email that yeah it's real but she didn't even let me finish the email right like in the middle of me saying the email she was already like oh Condé Nast like she heard Condé Nast and she was like okay yeah Condé Nast owns Bride Magazine that's a real email or whatever so congratulations but what she didn't listen to was the full fucking email which is Condé Nast Publications Sync 
not since sync s i n c c at gmail dot com. Guys, remember in my last story time, I talk about how big businesses should have their domain name as their actual name. So if it was the real email, it would have been I don't know Condé Nast Publications at Condé Nast dot com. Or business at condenast.com or business at brides.com, not gmail.com. If you're a big business, you can afford to buy your domain name. So that's the first red flag you gotta look out for, which I noticed, but I was like, it looks legit. Everything that she said was so professional, well worded that I was like, wow, this looks really believable. Um, and then I looked at the email and I was like, hmm, I don't know, like, why would they have gmail.com? But maybe it was made like a long, long time ago. I don't know. That's why I looked them up and called them. And then the lady said that it was real. So at that point, I was like, fuck, like. I'm fucking hired as a makeup artist. I'm gonna be a published makeup artist. I replied to Melissa and I'm like, let me know the budget、um, and if you would be able to provide a room and transportation. I currently live in Los Angeles. Then she messages me back and she's like, we received your email and it shows you are willing to be part of the shoot. The edition of Brides Magazine will be shot in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, on Friday, February twenty second, two thousand and nineteen. You will be compensated with two thousand dollars for your service with a fifty percent. Deposit paid to you upon agreement. Key responsibilities: match skin color to color palettes to determine best looks. Ensure makeup looks natural and well applied under different lighting. Apply touch-ups as necessary. The list goes on and on and on. So as you can see, all of this shit sounds so legit. So of course. I'm going to believe it, especially because I have never worked with a huge company. I've never signed a contract with a company that's very well known. That's the thing when when you have low subscribers and they know that you probably haven't worked with a lot of brands. They target those people because they know that you're not gonna do as much research. They know that you're not gonna like question that many things. They did a pretty good fucking job, I'm gonna say, but. I figured it out. It's like okay, so we are having 15 models all together, in which we would be allocated three models to work on. The looks are of three different looks, and the theme of the shoot is elegance beauty. It's crazy how detailed these emails are. Who the fuck like sends emails this fucking long? Each fucking email that she sends me is this long. I'm like, this has to be real until. She was like, listed below are the materials you would need for the upcoming shoot: professional makeup kit 101 light, professional makeup kit 201 medium, professional kit 301 dark. Brides Magazine has specialist vendors, which are usually patronized for the purchase of makeup products, as we would not like to face the challenge we had during our last shoot. Some of the makeup artists we hired then did not have all the necessary kits to be used on our different. Skin type models. Therefore, the kits need to be provided. The funds of the purchase is being released to every artist. So basically, she's saying that in the past, some makeup artists that they hired didn't have enough tools or makeup to be able to complete the job. So what they're gonna do is provide the kits for us, and they're gonna release funds so that we can purchase it from their makeup specialist. Vendor.、Um, so she's like Nelson Del Mar is a model agent and our makeup specialist vendor. Contact him for the availability and price of these kits, together with any other products you might be needing, and give me a feedback of the quotation. His contact is Nelson Del Mar Aesthetics at gmail dot com. I email him and I'm like, Hey, Melissa Wilson from Brides Magazine told me to email you for the prices of these kits. Please let me know as soon as possible. He emails me. Each kit is going to be about six hundred something dollars and. And altogether, it's gonna end up being around two thousand dollars for these kits, right? And I would have to pay a thousand dollar commitment fee because the demand in those products are very high, and he wants to make sure that I'm able to get them on time before heading out to Philadelphia, right? Oh yeah, by the way, I was supposed to go to Philadelphia, not New York, but New York is supposedly where their office is held. Well, actually, not supposedly. The real bride's office is actually in New York, and they just put. Their exact like address on here to make it look more legit,、um, but they wanted me to go to P- Pennsylvania to actually do like the makeup for the shoot or whatever. I sent her the quotes back, and in my head I was like, wait, why do I have to email him 
separately. If, if he's your makeup specialist vendor, shouldn't you already be in contact with him and already have kind of like a set amount that you need to get for the makeup artist that you're going to hire? If you already know how many makeup artists you're going to hire, then you should already know how many kits you need to buy from the specialist vendor. Does that make sense? The more and more emails that I get back, I'm just like, okay, it seems kind of sketchy, but it still seems legit. So I'm just gonna keep going with it. Uh, tells me that I need to pay only to him out of pocket today via his preferred mode of receiving the payment so we can have your kits processed alongside your counterpart. You will be reimbursed of this fee which would come along with your 50% compensation deposit. When I got that part of the email, I was like this is for sure a scam and I was actually in Vegas at this time because um, me and some friends <laughs> like last minute just fucking went to Vegas for two days and I was in the hotel we were getting ready to go out and I get this email and I'm just like I already know like this is a scam I just got so sad like I was so fucking sad because I was just like wow they really 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 got my fucking hopes up and I just thought that this was my big moment I really thought that Brides Magazine loved my work and yeah, so I was really upset. So I ended up just taking my makeup off and not going out. And I just stayed in the hotel, like really sad. Um, yeah, so whenever you get an email, whether it's a business offering you a job or if it's you trying to look for housing and emailing people on Craigslist and they get back to you and they're like, oh, I actually moved out of town and I just need someone to house sit for me so I'm renting it out. I'm gonna send you the keys in the mail. Can you actually like pay me through this email address or pay me through PayPal or Bitcoin or whatever? I'm gonna send a check over to you and you're gonna have to deposit it. You will have to pay for this product and you will be reimbursed. Oh, you only have to pay the shipping on this product. It's a scam, guys. It's a scam. It's a fucking scam. Anytime you have to pay or it seems like that person doesn't want to meet up with you or you ask more questions and they just seem to be beating around the bush, don't email them back. Don't respond to them. They're trying to fucking rip you out of your money or they're trying to have you meet somewhere so that someone can kidnap you or something, something dangerous. Just don't get involved in that shit. I already kind of gave them my address for, um, you know, the for the compensation deposit check. They know my full name, they know my birthday, they have my address, but they don't have any of my credit card information, so that's good. It's only dangerous because I don't know if they're gonna come try to swoop me. If I go missing, you know who took me. It was Melissa Wilson and Nelson Delmar. Then she sends me a contract with Brides Magazine, which I actually never opened. Um, but it does not look very professional. It looks kind of um, just off, just very off. They probably should have looked at this before they sent it to me. Uh, so I emailed Nelson and I'm like, hey, what is your preferred method of payment? And you wanna know what this boy said? You wanna know what he said? Per the $1,000 commitment fee, we are currently unable to accept payments via PayPal and credit card at this time due to some maintenance issues from our financial institution. To begin your order, first of all, how do you not accept PayPal or credit card? That is so, like, Huge! What? Hmm? I don't... Okay, whatever. To begin your order, you are to proceed the payment via Bitcoin Core. Our barcode and wallet address is listed below in this email. You are to credit our wallet with the $1,000, then send me a confirmation for the payment funding. You can have this process via your Bitcoin Core wallet if you have one already. Cash app, payments.changely.com, paybiz.com, buy.bitcoin.com, or go to a nearby Bitcoin ATM to have it processed. Your payment is due today so that your kits can be processed alongside your counterparts as we wish to have all the kits sent out by tomorrow morning so as to enable me to deal with other clientele. <sighs> so, first of all, that's very sketch because who the fuck pays a Bitcoin? If you can't accept credit card, a big magazine like Brides Magazine can't accept PayPal 
or credit card that's already sketchy as it is and then you want to be like you gotta pay with bitcoin Majority of people don't have fucking Bitcoin. I don't even know how to work Bitcoin. Um, they say you can buy Bitcoin through these like specific sites, but I'm like, I'm not gonna do all that fucking work. If you were a big company and you really wanted me to work as a makeup artist for you, then why wouldn't you just pay the makeup specialist with my deposit that you're supposed to give me because that makes more sense, right? So I didn't respond to his email. Then I emailed Melissa back and I was like, Dear Melissa, I don't feel comfortable giving a thousand dollars up front because there are a lot of scams out there. Can you please provide me with a contact number so we can discuss payment options and other information I need to know about the trip? Thank you. I already knew at this point it's a scam, right? So I was just trying to see what she would say. And she was like, thank you for your prompt response. Firstly, I would like to inform you that this is a legitimate job opportunity as Brides Magazine has never been involved in anything illegitimate or fraudulent since its inception so therefore you do not have anything to worry about that's so stupid just because you say oh we have never been involved in any fraudulent activity or any illegal activity um, you should believe that this is a real offer and a real job for avoidance of doubts, I attached a scanned copy of my business card in this correspondence. As you might have noticed from our email header, you will discover that we have been corresponding with you via our professional email. Second, we have been partnering with Nelson for about six years. He is a man of high integrity and always accountable for his dealings. Therefore, I am reassuring you that you are safe on this one. Thirdly, I'm afraid we might not be able to discuss on the phone as all information has been disseminated to you via email. Reason being that we all tend to be working off station at this time due to the preparations for this upcoming shoot. However, our contact number and other information are clearly stated on my business card per attached in this correspondence. Lastly, I will advise you to proceed to coordinate the payment to Nelson via his preferred method of payment. Then she sends me her card which has the address of Brides Building, Melissa Wilson at bridesmagazine.org. .org. If it's .org, it's most likely sketchy, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Um, and then it says www.brides.com. Um, let me see, let's look up brides.com. I think this is the real site, um, but if it was a real site, then why wouldn't you have Melissa Wilson at bridesmagazine.com or Melissa Wilson at brides.com? Why do you have bridesmagazine.org? Tell me, Melissa. <laughs> okay. Then she has the number 347-980-0076, which I have never tried calling. So you know what? Just fuck it. Let's call the number right now. Actually, let me um star 67 the shit because 76. I'm scared. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. Please leave a message after the tone. Oh, okay. Maybe she didn't answer because I called on star 67. But, um, should I call her, like, through WhatsApp or something? Or does WhatsApp show my real number? I have no idea. I'm scared, guys. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh my god. Okay, let's call her again without being blocked. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. She knows. She knows she's getting caught. Anyway, I'm gonna actually try calling her tomorrow again because um, this shit's just ridiculous. But yeah, that was basically the last email that she sent me. I never emailed her back. It's been about three days. Another thing that I noticed when I was actually rereading our messages is that the first email that she emailed me from was from Condé Nast and from the email Condé Nast Publication Sync at gmail.com and then I emailed her back and then the email after that that she emailed me from was from Melissa Wilson at bridesmagazine.org so that was already kind of weird right there I didn't even notice until she told me that if you look we are corresponding with you via our professional email right so that that's when I saw Melissa Wilson and I was like wait hold up why is she emailing me from this email now instead of the Condé Nast one like that's sketchy so what I did was I went to their actual Instagram and you know how on business pages you can see like the email button so I clicked that and it brought me to a completely different email than what she emailed me from 
which is editors at brides.com. See, that looks more legit because their website is brides.com. So it makes sense that their email is editors at brides.com. Then on their website, which is the actual website she had on her business card, I went to all the way down to contact the editors, clicked on the email, then it brought me to a different email, which was Danielle underscore ODMR at condenast.com. Remember what I said earlier about it being gmail.com and why it wasn't brides.com or condenast.com? These two emails were brides.com and condenast.com. So when I saw those emails, I was like, okay, these are probably the legit emails. So I emailed them and I was like, to whomever this may concern, my name is Kristen. I am a makeup artist based in Los Angeles. I recently received an email from Condé Nast Publications, sync at gmail.com and Melissa Wilson at, bridesma at bridesmagazine.org who claims to be the editorial assistant for Brides Magazine. Melissa offered me a job to work as a makeup artist in Philadelphia. Please confirm with your team that I have been hired and that Melissa Wilson is in fact the editorial assistant and that Nelson Del Mar is the makeup specialist vendor for Brides Magazine. I know that there are a lot of online scams so I'm taking precautions and emailing you this information since this is the email that was on your website. I get an email two days later saying, Hi Kristen, first off, I am so sorry that you received this. Thank you for checking in as, as it is fraudulent. And I also messaged the same exact thing to um, their Instagram and they responded basically with the same thing saying that this was a fraudulent activity and that they're gonna have their security look into it. And at that moment, I was just so pissed because who the fuck does this shit and they're probably making bank that's why they have you know they probably hired someone who's very great at english and coming up with contracts coming up with emails and it's probably a makeup artist honestly because they know all this shit they have their shit down they they know about the makeup kits they got me pretty good for a second but caught their asses so hopefully they get caught because and here's where the big scheme of the the story is i called my friend who is a makeup artist too her name is jasmine shout out to you girl uh we made a video like over a year ago we try to do our makeup drunk we try to do some asmr drunk makeup video so if you want to watch that i'll put it in um the i card above and in the description box below but basically i called her because she knows more about makeup she has a bigger following she's worked with companies so i called her and when i found out it was a scam while i was in vegas she told me that like oh yeah like why do you think it's a scam and i said because they said this and this she was like oh yeah actually let me look i feel like i've gotten that email before she sends me a screenshot of the exact same fucking email of them offering a job to her but back in august and i was like oh what was the domain like what was the email that they sent to you from she was like it was like condé nast artistry at gmail.com or some shit like that like it was a completely different email they probably have like so many fucking people working this scam and it's scary because you have to think of it as more than someone trying to scam you of your money imagine they actually fly you out to philadelphia or to new york or to wherever the fuck in the world and you think it's this huge opportunity and then they fucking drug you, they kidnap you, and then enter you into sex trafficking. This has taught me so much. I am going to be so much more cautious when I receive emails like this. And I kind of was already, you know, my gut was telling me like this is fake, you know? But yeah, just be careful. Make sure you run it through your friends and family who know or have kind of experienced something like this, like going into business with companies yeah basically just do your research gmail sometimes can be their real email but if they're a big corporation or company most likely they'll have bought their domain name so look out for that look up their website look up their customer service number call them ask a lot of questions if they're a legit company they won't be worried about you asking questions and i hope that you guys learned something from this story time i know it was a little bit intense and probably very repetitive I don't really know. I just kind of came on here wanting to tell this story because I don't want it to happen to anyone else. And I actually looked on YouTube to see if anyone else experienced this scam, but nothing really popped up. So 
I want the shit to go fucking viral because if anyone else is getting these types of emails, I need them to know that it's a scam because I don't want you to get scams out of your money. I don't want you to get kidnapped. I don't want you to be sex trafficked or anything dangerous. I don't want you to be killed like anything so please be careful let me know in the comments if you've received this email or if you received an email like this yeah just let me know your story because we need to spread the awareness of this well yeah that was the story of the time brides magazine tried to fucking scam me i swear shit like this keeps happening to me weird shit keeps fucking happening to me i swear it's for a reason i swear this shit happens to me so that i can make story times out of it so i can kind of like you know make people aware of situations like this to kind of hopefully help you guys not get into the same situation but yeah thank you so much for watching stay cake stay fierce and i'll see you in the next one bye